What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Gearblocks and today we're gonna rebuild another engine. Actually, I wanna build a radial engine today is what I wanna do. I wanna see if it's possible to build a radial engine, number one, and number two, I wanna compare it to our i4 and see what it is. Also, I read through the comments because I was like, why is my i4 not making as much power as the other one that we built? And a lot of you pointed out that a lot of stuff is really broken. For example, because I modified the length of the crankshaft, um, if we take a look, it actually removed this first connection. So we've been running a three cylinder the whole time. And that's amazing to point that out. Another thing too, for, for some reason when I saved it, uh, I didn't save it with this fully set up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna just I'll prove the point. Um, so if I hold this and power it up, right? It should, hello. There it goes. Right? Yeah, and it puts out like 60 kilowatts, right? All right, that's cool. And then if we connect the actual like fourth, and then we power it up. It already sounds different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now we put out 85 kilowatts. Also, there was a, an interesting debate going on in the comment section of my last video, which I'm curious to see what how you guys continue this debate. Uh, carbon fiber exhaust. A lot of people were saying that it would melt. But I was talking with Cosmo about it, and he was like, no, dude, I'm pretty sure carbon fiber exhaust is fine. And I actually think he has a carbon fiber exhaust for one of his mopeds. So I, I'm just saying, I, like, I, I, I don't know. You guys were arguing that like the carbon fiber exhaust would melt, wouldn't melt. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see some facts on it. I should probably look some up, stuff up about it before I talk about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to build a radio. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, works a lot better now. Actually, I should probably save this now that it's been fixed. Let's save that there as the new... Yeah, perfect. All right, so now it puts out more horsepower than the first one. Uh, obviously, it's a nicer looking engine. Cool. Let's build a radial and see what happens with that. All right, and we're just going to do like a really simple plus radial for now. I don't want to do anything like stupid crazy. So we're just gonna have this, you know, go to some middle point, um, like so. And then we're gonna have the crankshaft just go straight down. And we'll see how this all works. I have no idea if this is actually gonna work or not. I'm assuming, like, we literally have one crank, and all four pistons are connected to it, right? And then with a different timing, like, I'm assuming the game lets us do that with the Vs. You'd have to have two attached to the same point, right? So I think this should, this should theoretically work. I don't know. We're gonna find out, and if this does, I want to compare how much power it draws compared to that, like, inline four we built over there. Um, but anyway, let's see what this does. So we grab, I'm pretty sure we just drive a driven, driven crank, and I do this, right? And that's gotta pivot through there. So that drives, and then we just need literally four cylinders. They don't need to be transparent. Like, I think this is literally our entire radial engine. And then we just need to have the timings like one, two, three, four around the circle, right? Does this work? Does it? Hold on a minute. Oh, it would help if I had my pistons facing the right way. Yeah, that would that would that would make sense. I forgot it's the circular side towards the. Yeah, no. Okay, now does it? There we go. Okay, one, two. Oh boy. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, yeah. All right. So that's our basis. That is so cool that it actually draws all four of them. That is legitimately the coolest thing. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. And then we just need to put our engine heads on it. And then we're gonna have to have, this This is gonna be the interesting, a lot of people were saying in my last video when I made the i4 there, that part of the reason I'm not getting enough throttle is because my volumetric efficiency is off and I'm not, uh, I don't have enough throttle linkages. Like I only have one throttle feeding all four cylinders where if you had a throttle per cylinder and you increased your volumetric efficiency, then theoretically it would drive better right like it would drive more powerful that's that's what a few people were saying um i don't know if that's true or not but either way um yeah it's just it is what it is all right so this is we're gonna straight pipe like all the exhausts out we're just gonna corner pipe them like a small corners just have them voice like this actually you know what we should honestly this whole engine realistically like we should be building it this way it's kind of it's kind of an airplane engine at the end of the day and Ultimately, we should have this driven shaft going forward and then extending Can't extend the axle though in the other direction, right? Like can I hold on a minute? I need to extend the axle in both crank nose and axle Does this let me what does this let me do? Oh Okay, sick. Yep, that's what I wanted to do perfect So that lets me extend the axle both directions because yeah this we want to do this like 
A real airplane style, you know? Fully open, exposed, absolutely nonsense radial. We're just gonna have four straight pipes coming out, four throttles going in, you know, normal radial stuff. Absolutely ridiculous. I wonder what this is actually gonna do. I have no idea. Uh, we need a starter on it as well, but all the accessories we're gonna put on this side. This would be inside the, like, cabin. And then the whole engine we're just gonna leave pretty much exposed. Although, an actual radio for a plane, we would have... We'll put a we'll put a casing over this, but all the pistons will just have like all the intakes and stuff. This is just gonna yeah, it's just gonna be nonsense. So we're just gonna do that. That's an intake, and then we need a throttle on each of these, which is like, I guess we could we don't even need these going forward. We could just have them going like um, could have them going sideways. Yeah, let's have them going forward. Doesn't matter. I don't think like like realistically if this was a real radio a lot of real radios you see them they have all their pipes kind of like strewn together like they'll all weave around the engine and they get to the together usually the exhaust is just straight piped out because they don't care about that but you know on plane engines anyway but this is like old school old school plane stuff this is great this is really really great um i don't know firing order i think like this one needs to be throttle not attached yeah okay let's get throttles on first I don't even know if this is going to work, to be honest. Um, but we need a starter, so let's get the starter motor on this. The starter motor is just going to go, like, there. That's not going to drive it, no. I mean, that kind of works, but we need to drive... Actually, this could work if we drive... This is going to be kind of like a terrible way to do a starter, but, like, I mean, we could do it. If we just drive an axle, which drives another gear, so we have this go to there... And then we shrink this down like so, and then we have this axle drive another gear here. Which is kind of silly, but we're gonna do it this way anyway. So this extends out. We're just- this is just sort of like a test to see if a radial even works, let alone- you know what I mean? Like, we're not- I'm not too concerned about- there we go, perfect. See, right? So that drives that. Um, and that's- yeah, and then this is- this would go forward to- we're gonna leave that as that size. We'll get a clutch on this, because we're gonna need a centrifugal clutch. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then we'll put a big old tungsten weight on the end of that. Although, apparently, people were saying use lead, because tungsten in this game apparently calculates as hollow. So, even though tungsten is technically denser than lead, it doesn't actually calculate that way. So, theoretically, if, like, tungsten apparently is hollow. Is hollow, yes. So, density is divided by 10. Oh, so it's 1970 density. And then if we look at lead, lead is hollow, no. So it's density is 11,003. Oh, see, that's, that's, you got to pay attention to is hollow. Yes, density divided by 10. Teflon is hollow. Yes, density divided by 10. Interesting. Interesting. Very rusty steel. Hollow, hollow, hollow. Man, a lot of these are hollow. It's like only lead that isn't hollow. Man, carbon fiber, 160 density. Oh, boy. Is hollow. Oh, the wood isn't hollow either. Okay. Anyway, alright, so we need a big lead weight, apparently, is the... God dang, that's a big weight. Alright, well, we're gonna bring this back. There we go. It's on a centrifugal clutch. Okay, uh, starter should work. So, we get a trigger key of G, if I turn that on, and we unfreeze this. Right. And now we just need to set our ignition sequence, which I... Whoops, not that. I think that's just, like, one for you. And I think we just go around the circle for a radial, too. I don't know if this is the right direction, is, I think, the issue. We gotta make sure, like, um... And that one's, of course, not... Two of them are connected. Okay, well, that's interesting. This is four. And then let's make sure... Oh, none of them are connected. Perfect. Because I, I probably rescaled something. You gotta really pay attention to that. It's good that one of you pointed it out. If you change, like, this axle at all, all the connections to it get lost, and you have to redo it, which makes sense, but you just gotta pay attention. Um, so, now... Okay. Um... Oh, hold on. We have to turn on our throttles. That would, that would help. Or the cylinder, we gotta turn on our cylinders. Okay, well both of those things would help in trying to fire up this engine. We also might be rotating the starter in the wrong direction, but let's see. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, invert direction, let's try it this way. 
All right, all right. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. That's it's a it's a legitimate radio. That's so awesome. Like that's. That's so good. I love that. Okay, let's crank this up to 4,000. Um, I had someone say put peak volumetric efficiency at 0.76 and then do some adjustments from there. I haven't really gotten into engine tuning yet. We should honestly do a whole episode where we tune. But right now, I just wanted to try and like lay out a few different engine configurations and see what's up with them. This is... I love the way this looks, though. This is so cool. Like, it needs to be cased. This needs to be cased and, like, have a proper casing around it. Um, but this is, this is pretty sweet. Oh, we don't have an alternator either. This needs an alternator. But anyway. There's a, a little bit of rod knock, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that noise is. That, that can't be good. I love all the exhaust, just, just dumping out the back, it doesn't even matter. So right off the bat, it's, it, you can, you don't need a display. But you can see it's peaking at like 84 kilowatts. Where the other one, the iPhone, let's go, I'm gonna go grab this, let's bring this up here. I love that, I can't believe how cool that is. Alright, let's grab you, hi man, like, can I just, yeah, let's grab you, let's bring you up here. I'm gonna go save that radial too, but I am curious to see like just the flat out performance differences. You don't need the screen here. This one also has the alternator. That one doesn't. Let's actually uh, real quick. Let me just make this lead um, before we. There we go. So let's make that lead. That's perfect. Uh, let's do, of course, the classic. Let's do carbon fiber on everything just to really, you know, carbon fiber intakes and exhaust. Let me know if it melts in the comments down below. There was a, a very fierce debate last time on it. I personally have worked with carbon fiber before, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you can you can have carbon fiber exhaust. I mean, Cosmo thinks you can have carbon fiber exhaust when I was talking to him about it. So I I don't know. I, I think it'll be fine. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, let's get this thing going. Four eighty four. This one idles better though. That's that's actually like. Hold on a minute. You know, let's just let's just do this so we can actually see what's going on. But let me just let me freeze this guy. Uh, let me put it next to this one, right? And let's just let's just um, can I do this while this is? Whoops! Can I do this while? Oh, look at that! Look, you can even copy the screen while it's running. That's so sick. Okay, and then we'll put it there, and then we'll connect you to the drive axle. There we go. Perfect. Look, the radial's got a smoother idle. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's got a terrible idle. The linear i4 has an incredibly smooth idle. 484. It's just not 100%. Its idle is also... I guess this is just the clutch setting. Its idle is somehow like... Wait, I, I, whoops. I didn't mean to freeze this. Well, hold on a minute. Yeah, no, just... I'm, I was trying to... Uh, God dang it. There we go. Hold on. Let me just... Okay, hold on. God... Sorry, God, there's so many, God, there, there, there we go, perfect. There, clutch settings, that's what I was looking for. All right, so peak torque, 550, disengaged at, engaged at 1,000. I feel like this one's set the same. It is. Oh, now this one's spinning up like crazy. I don't know, I guess the idle eventually just transfers some power through the clutch to the, the wheel. Doesn't matter, anyway, 484, it's pretty smooth. This one does jump over the place, but it actually gets to the 500. Uh, and then we throttle them up. They actually, you know, they actually get really close. It's interesting. They both go to like 84 and a half, 85 on the on the power 
But the, I mean, the weights might be different sizes too. Hold on, let's actually make sure. This is a three by four lead cylinder, and this is a three by three lead cylinder. All right, so let's make let's make the weights the same size, so we can do like an actual proper comparison here. They almost seem to peak at the same torque, which is interesting. All right, so there they go. The radial fires up faster. Maybe my timing on the i4 is stupid. The i4 also has the extra accessories though, so it's got the alternator on it, and it's got the belt running the fan. So all, and it's got a bigger, a bigger. Oh no, they have the same size flywheel. No, it's bigger. This one's bigger for sure. This one's smaller. The gear, quote unquote, that's acting as a flywheel, let's say. But yeah, so there are differences with the engines. But anyway, let's see. Uh, this one does idle smoother though. It is interesting. This one idles like crazy. But that's so sick. All right, let's go. Full speed. Okay, so the i4 gets half a kilowatt more power it's like 85 1 to 84 6 but the radial gets there faster like it accelerates look at it, it's already in the 80s like it accelerates slightly faster with the same weight now granted that could be because we don't have the alternator accessories as well but it's pretty cool It is interesting too though in terms of form factor as well. I mean obviously we I should clean this up. This is like version 1.0 compared to like the version 1.0 I had of this. It's sort of all skeleton and terrible. Should make a casing around it and make a proper version of it. There's also some things I want to do with this one to clean it up to make the casing a little smaller. Um God, I love the idle sound on this thing though. That's so cool. Well, now I guess the only thing next to do is build like a nine cylinder radio, you know, and a five cylinder and a three cylinder and, and then actually make them a little more compact and start putting them in cars. And uh, yeah, like this whole starter setup is kind of, is, this is kind of jank. This should be, I should do that a lot cleaner and a lot better. But you know, we just wanted to, I wanted to see what happens when you slap a radial together. But it's interesting. I mean, it makes sense that the performance isn't like a totally huge amount different. We've got ultimately the exact same settings on all the cylinders. Um, you know, the only difference is the firing order, peak volumetric efficiency, RPM. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't, I need to play around with all this stuff. A fuel equivalent ratio, one is stoichiometric, ooh, rich and, ooh. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to start, like, graphing every single one of these settings. And, like, go through and maybe put, like, ten points along each one of these settings. Like, go from maximum here to maximum there. And graph ten points, and then output the power curve, like, output maximum power and just repeat that for all the different settings and really get a good understanding like we'll take one engine in particular and just go through all the different settings on each of the cylinders until we figure out like what's the maximum performance for that particular engine and then we have to do it for every other engine we build but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this is sick i love this radio this is so cool and there's the thing with this game which is interesting to me is um the dev doesn't have aerodynamics yet per se i don't think but they have propellers so we can make a flying helicopter for sure with propellers. I think there's actually like one the dev already has. Yeah, look, the mosquito. Look, it's a flying helicopter thing with propellers. So we'll have to we'll have to do that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, the radio gets there faster. But it does have the rod knock problem though. But that might just be something to do with my terrible geometry. But yeah, 84.6. 85.1. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit those buttons. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. It is crazy how much smoother this is at idle than this.